Good afternoon, this is Daniel from Quinn Global Asia Pacific. Just like to introduce you to our canister system, which is a delivery method for a range of contact adhesives and other industrial products. The um, canister system is somewhat unique. It appears to be like a standard gas bottle. The concept of the canister is that it is an industrial size aerosol can. So it delivers problem free delivery for adhesives and industrial products, bringing the benefit of a um, self-contained unit that you can't achieve with a standard um, five gallon or 20 litre drum. The canister system is quite simply the canister which will be delivered full of adhesive and pre-pressurised. It comes with a gun and a hose which is set up unique to the canister system. The, the hose and the gun will come separate, so you do need to attach the hose to the canister. You'll notice that there are two different size ends on the hose. We have a larger fitting which goes on the spray gun and a smaller fitting which goes directly onto the canister. The, the fitting up is very straightforward and easy. The threads are perfectly matched. You simply attach the thread of the hose coupling to the canister and tighten. You just snip it up tight enough so that there is no um, resistance because although the fitting may look like a flexible fitting, it's designed to lock tight. So if you're getting any movement, you do need to nip that up a little tighter. You can then attach the other end to the gun, which is once again very straightforward. Once that's fitted up, you can open the valve of the canister and you're set to go. There's a range of tips that are unique to each product or application, and they can be um, recommended for your specific purpose as required. The gun does have a safety lock nut, which prevents the trigger from being bumped open or knocked inadvertently. So before you begin to spray, Wind the lock nut back three to four turns. We then recommend you spray a hand span away from the job and you can spray away, getting a nice even pattern. Using that distance, you can also control the gun with that lock nut. So if you've got a larger area to cover, you can wind it back further and get a wider pattern. You will need to move faster with the wider, to get the wider pattern. If you're doing edging, you can wind it right down and get a very narrow, very controlled pattern there that you can see. What we'll demonstrate now is how you can achieve a very um, effective bond. The demonstration today will include a piece of MDF, medium density fiberboard, and a piece of laminate just for a simple bonding exercise. So once you have the gun set up, you can do a practice spray to make sure you get the pattern the way you would like it. What we'd like in this application is a spray pattern of about 100 millimetres wide. With the, with the base product, which we're, in this case is the MDF, we're going to spray it in one direction nice and even, and then we do recommend on the mating product that you go in the other direction. You only need to get a coverage rate of about 80% and that's very easily achieved with this system. You'll notice that there's no atomization. We've got transfer straight from the gun to the job. Once the adhesive has had approximately 30 seconds to flash off, you can then check that it is dry enough to do the bond just by touching it lightly with the back of your fingers. If you can touch the adhesive and not get any transfer to the back of your fingers, the two products are ready to bond. So in this case, we must remember that we spray this one horizontally, this one vertically. So we're gonna take it and marry it across in that direction so that we get the cross strength of the glue coming through. So we'll touch that now together and we'll be able to demonstrate how quickly the initial grab of that product is, where you cannot separate that immediately. So we'll then lay it down. We'll give it some pressure with a laminating roller. One of the distinct benefits of the canister system is that at the end of the day, there's no cleaning up or maintenance required. You don't have to pack up airlines or anything like that. You simply can hang the gun on your canister, job done, leave the valve turned on and you're ready to go for the next day.